Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm TK Brew. Today we're going to be discussing who I think are the top five brawlers you want to take in a bounty, so stay tuned. Just a little asterisk on the intro, just wanted you guys to know these are my top five picks for bounty and that they're for all over bounty, not just one specific map. There are brawlers like Daryl who are good at very specific maps, but not overall. So these are my top five overall brawlers to take into bounty. The very first one is probably very shocking to you guys. At number five, we're gonna be talking about Mortis. Mortis comes in at number five. I know a lot of you guys know that I don't like Mortis as a as personally to play, but he's great inside of bounty because everyone wants to take their long range snipers, slow reloads, especially those pipers and stuff that you're gonna be attacking. You're gonna be able just to sneak up on them, swipe, 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 and they're done. So because everyone's trying to go long range and bounty, sometimes it's good to take that short range mortis in there. Especially if he's maxed out, he gets to pick up the extra health and just keeps going. Very good at dodging attacks, very good at just causing pressure on the people and keeping them contained so your rest of your team can snipe them from the background. So number five was my mortis. Coming in at number four is Bo. Bo is a very strong all around character. He has lots of, he has a fair bit of health. His mines are very good at controlling gameplay. You can drop them anywhere you want on the map. You can make it so teams specifically have to go a specific way. So funneling them down a specific area. And he is a very mid-range brawler with a splash attack. So each bow, each shot does a big area of attack. So basically if they start grouping together, you can get extra damage off on the players around them. So it's very good to take bow into that. And then finally his super special move, special ability is he can see really far into the map. So things like Snake Prairie, where it's basically all just covered in grass, he can give your team a very big advantage of people lurking inside the bushes, which could help firm ambushes or people sneaking up behind. So Bo is always a good choice to take into a bounty map. Next on my list, number three is Piper. She's not up higher on this list, as you guys might think, because of her slow reload time. Because she has such a slow reload time, she can't get enough shots off. So she can triple tap a lot of people out there, but she can't actually take out people over time. It's just like, pap, pap, pap. If she gets them, she does. If not, it's going to take forever for her to reload. So she's not going to be putting that constant pressure on the other team. And then finally, her super ability, her super attack, when she launches her super, is just her jumping out of the way, dropping off mines, which normally she doesn't use unless someone's pushing close against her, like a Mortis or something, or a Daryl. But she doesn't use it that often. So she's basically going to be holding on to the super for this long amount of time that she's never going to be able to use. And it just makes it so hard for her actually to be useful with her super. So she's good at sniping, not so good with her super. Number two we're going to bring in here is Brock. Brock has the best, I want to say one of the best super abilities for bounty in general. A big super area of attack which he launches a whole bunch of rockets and does a big area of damage. Uh, pushing teams back and especially if they're hiding behind walls especially if for some reason the other team brings in a dynamite or a barley you can definitely just take out those walls and allow it better easy easy for snipers and taking out mass amounts of people there's those times where brock should be able to uh just chain his supers take everybody out wait for them to respawn take them out again with your super and just keep going so brock is very strong and powerful his explosion does do it and also does an area effect of damage so he can do up to over 1400 damage if he's maxed out. So basically he can also triple tap people. His reload's a little bit better. His super is a lot better than Piper's, making him a better all around brawler for bounty matches. So that was Brock and coming in at number one, my favorite brawler inside of all of Brawl Stars. And that is Ricochet. Ricochet has the longest shot you're ever gonna see, the longest super shot you're ever gonna see. And he has the ability to basically shoot around corners. So basically, he can still hide behind walls, bounce them off the walls, and still hit people. So he has a high DPS uh, per bullet. He has, with his super, he does extra if he's bouncing off the walls. His super actually shoots through people. So he's able to do a mass amounts of damage over a short amount of time, which is really good for him. His only weakness is probably his health. They did give a big nerf to his health, taking off 400 hit points which is quite a lot for Ricochet, so he definitely wants to stay back. He definitely wants to try to have someone who's going to try to protect them from Mortises, someone who's going to try to check to protect them from El Primos or anything else that someone might want to bring in there. But Ricochet has that all-around advantage that you're going to want to take into Bounty. And the last 
probably the least tweak about Ricochet is the farther their target is away, the farther his shot spreads. So you have to be very careful. Sometimes your super can actually just wrap around someone and not hit them at long range. So you're going to have to be careful. Make sure you bounce things off walls. Make sure you get your shots down precisely. Always lead the runner. And you'll have a great time basically dominating the, the field with a Ricochet. So basically, if you take your Ricochet and your Brock and maybe a Mortis into a into a bounty match depending on the map you're probably going to dominate with your team as long as they have a good aim so there you go there is my top five brawlers i would take into a bounty match mortis bow piper brock and a ricochet so let's jump into a game and see how it goes for us right into our first bounty match and we are actually going to take our ricochet he has 291 trophies getting close to 300 here so this map probably was going to be better off with a Daryl, as you can see on this side. But Brock is here, as you can see, has a good choice. And they had a Piper, if I'm not mistaken. They also had a Brock. So a Dynamite is a good choice in this map because he can come around this corner. But unfortunately for him, I can still bounce shots off this corner here. Hopefully, can we take him out? There we go. Just in time to be taken out by... Did I get taken out by the Dynamite or did I take out by the Brock? I'm not sure. But my super is almost full. Gotta stay back. I wish the Brock would just take out this wall because this dynamite is just killing us. Brock, you need your super to take out this wall. It would be really nice if you could. Yes, take out that wall. Thank you. That's what you want to see. Perfect. That's why you want to use Brock in here. Oh, that looks very like for a snipe. It was. Oh, I zigged it when I stood a zig. Like, she could definitely triple tap people. I think I'm the only person who died on her team, aren't I? Okay, gotta get some good shots off. Nice, she goes down. She is... Well, I still got her. Oh, that bomb. Oh. I thought the bomb killed me for a second, so I just stopped moving. But the big bomb goes down. It hits me. It stops my super, but I did finally just get a little tip of that. Okay, gotta heal up here. Like I said, his biggest weakness is his lack of health here. But like I said, his big big strength is the ricochet bullets that he can get off here. And so close to getting him down. Did, did you get the Piper? I wish you got I wish I could talk to them. And the ricochet bullets off the wall just to make sure we can hit this mic. Oh. There we go. Daryl's going on town. Nice job by Daryl. Well, thanks, Daryl, for setting me up for that kill right there. Oh, nice shot by the Brock. Oh, there comes that double tap. Definitely trying for that double tap right there. We both have four stars. We're going to have to be careful here. I got my super ready, but I have no walls to bounce it off currently. Whoa. Well, he definitely opened it up for sniping. Something that Dynamite probably didn't want to want to do was open that up for sniping. That is almost a kill. Can someone just finish off the di dynamite over there? Uh, can we get the dynamite? Dynamite is almost one shot. Can someone just kill it? We just need to stay alive here. Somehow we pulled off that victory. Like I said, this map is probably more designed for that dynamite that we have. But as long as that Brock can take out the walls like that, we're good for sniping here. Okay, we're going to try one last game of bounty. And hopefully that means... Hopefully, what I'm saying here is I can hit this ricochet over 300 here. We're hoping. Here's hoping for a nice, nice victory over 300. A Shelly was probably not the best choice for this map. I would, I would have rather, rather have had a Dynamite in here than a Shelly. But we got a Piper on the other side, and they did bring a Dynamite. And a maxed out... They have a maxed out... Brock on their side. Gotta watch out. He can just one-shot me right this second. So make sure you guys know your damages because if you know them, you're knowing when to retreat and when to keep pushing. Uh, is that Daryl up there causing havoc? He is, but he went down. Everyone's trying to get me a piece of me right now. Whoa, yeah. Just out of the way. Definitely need to heal here. Whoa. Nice. Just, do you see those bounces off that wall? The extra, like, 80 damage used to be 100. Just finished them off. I really need this wall out of the way. Is that, is that Daryl still behind here? It doesn't look like it. And did I get the... Oh, I was trying to hit that Brock. And then sniped he sniped. 
Can we get a shot off on this dynamite? This dynamite's gonna drop off his super, I just feel it. It definitely doesn't, a maxed out dynamite as well? Two maxed out characters here. And my shot's just Rick missing the dynamite there. Dynamite goes down. We are we are somehow up by a little bit here. And someone else goes down. Perfect. I didn't even see where they were. Nice job by that Shelly. Maxed out Shelly on our team. Nice. Almost walked into that snipe right there. Gotta be careful. I do I am low on health, so I gotta watch out for my health here. And did I miss the dynamite? I missed the dynamite completely. Ooh, can we get some shots off on that Piper? Piper goes down. Sitting at six health right now. Ooh. Six health. Sitting at six stars. Whoa. Well, there goes our Shelly. Our Shelly had seven stars. And I'm walking through a graveyard right now. Whoa. Just made it. She was just about to drop off her super there. Like I said, Shelly's or are... Piper Super, not that very special. Doesn't help out the game whatsoever. Only saves her from dying, basically. Nice, perfect. And that is another victory. That should, in fact, be... Whoa, boy. Oh, nice. That Shelly. I, I know I was harping on that Shelly to start with, but that Shelly got some good jukes on her. Jukes on her to get some games in there. Star player, pull it out. Finally hit Ricochet at 300. There we go, right at 300. Awesome. Okay, well, I don't know what more to say. Like I said, Ricochet is awesome. Brock is awesome. They're bringing their Piper in the middle of the road for sniping. But like I said, those are my top five brawlers that you should bring in there. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you guys did, please drop a like on it and don't forget to share. And as always, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.